Ed Stadium. Collaborating with me in the commentary box is Matthew Richardson. Welcome, Richo. Hi, Dennis. An absolute pleasure to join you. Tonight, it's St Kilda versus Collingwood. Banners ready for the players. St Kilda run under the cheers of their fans. Banners ready for the players. We have the toss of the coin. St Kilda kicking to the right of screen. This match sees two lowly placed teams battle it out, both in the hope of improving their position. Both these teams coming off losses. The siren is yet to sound. They say all things come to those who wait, but I'm starting to wonder if anyone will be around to hear it. Here's the bounce to kick off proceedings. Tapped by Longer. Smith controls it. Pendlebury bumps the ball in the hands of Robertson. Quick hands allows him to get that one off in time. Grundy feeds it wide. Nice work from Dunstan. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Longer kicks. Gilbert had no chance, but at least he made an attempt. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. Adams delivers a nice bump for Bruce. Clean tap by Trelaw, a favourable bounce. Tap by Fasola. McCartan throws the ball, free kick. Grundy slams it on the boot. Blair grabs that one. Blair is really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. Pendlebury lines up. He kicks the ball. Elliot climbs the ball. Elliot shoots. Elliot with a great kick. The Magpies take the first goal. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Longer guides it. Gilbert with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. The umpire calls advantage. Longer with a big fist on it. He's got the footy in his hands. Goes by hand. Grundy gets it out of the crowd. Greenwood, the better man there. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. 40 metres out. Going for goal number one. A magnificent kick right through the middle. The Saints will have to start putting in some effort if they want a chance in this game. Blair needs to gain a more familiar and consistent goal-kicking routine. And when he does that, he will be rewarded with more accurate kicking results. Smith kicks it to the square. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Pendlebury is a first-class decision-maker. He appears relatively unhurried when under pressure and constantly finds the best option in heavy traffic. What a great skill. Blair goes long and gets the goal. Collingwood are in front. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The umpire has bounced the ball. Long had got a fist on it. Gilbert decisively. Smith soccers it. Handball short. Big man does nicely. Pass by Savage. Approaching the goals now. Geary gets the mark without contest. 35 metres out. Going for goal number one. Chalk up a goal for the Saints. St Kilda get there first. Geary is good on both left and right, so kicking off either side is just not an issue for him. The umpire has bounced the ball. Long it with the hit. A favourable bounce. With the ball now. Dunn can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Blair with the kick. Pendlebury takes the mark. Going for goal number one. The goal for the Magpies. There's already some distress for the Saints. 
Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Long attacks. He controls the bouncing ball. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. He grabs it on the run. They've conceded possession. The players have decided to take advantage. Slips the handball to Pendlebury. Collingwood be gaining a lot of the advantage through some smart kicks and even better marks inside their forward 50. Blair kicks the ball. Puts boot to ball. He hand passes it. Roberton intercepts the ball. Akers slams the ball to his boot. Webster with the torpedo. Marked by Smith. Choose to kick it. Nice mark there. Sends it on its way. Great grab. Jams it on the boot now. Taken by Dunstan. The Saints just can't find a free man inside 50 and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. He gets boot to the ball. Roberton claims the ball. Akers gets the handball. Sending it on its way. McCartan with a strong mark. He boots it. Good mark. Jams it on the boot. Pendlebury looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Sending it on its way. Strong mark there. Maynard might struggle for this distance. A 45 degree angle for this kick. That was a long kick for goal. Maynard getting his first. They increase their lead. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Both Rucks have a fair shot at this one. Longer will give you a competitive contest in every hit out, I can assure you of that. But the midfielders are going to have to work really hard to earn the centre clearances off his Ruck work. Tapped by Gilbert. Adams with a short hand pass. Bounces favourably for Bruce. Slips the handball to Robertson. He's a ball magnet. Clean tap by Moore. McCartan made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Dances around the boundary line. Savage lines it up. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. Geary claims the ball. Geary goes goalward. It's true. He's bagged a couple now. The Saints are in some real trouble here. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. A dead straight bounce. I think St Kilda mids will be saying to the rest of the team that they've lived up to their end of the deal. They're dominating the clearances, but they aren't seeing any reward for their work on the scoreboard. McCartan lining up with the goals. McCartan shoots for goal. McCartan puts it through. They're gathering some steam now. All is in readiness. The umpire has bounced the ball. Moore looked about as coordinated as Disney's Goofy. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Pressure didn't phase him. Kicks as cool as the other side of the pillar. He runs for home. Shot at goal by Carlisle. The long goal by Carlisle. He sinks his first goal. St Kilda could score the last three goals. The Saints will be trying to kill the momentum of the opposition. Great bounce. Big thump from Carlisle. Degoe picks up the bouncing ball. Is in his possession. Gets boot to leather. Steer with the mark. Gets boot to high. Let's take a look at the stats, Richo. St Kildick breaking up plenty of handballs at the moment. 20. And we're back for the second turn. Winners don't wait for chances, they take them. Big thump from Longer. He's got the footy in his hands. Geary claims the ball. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. Kicking from about a 30 degree angle here. St Kilda can still catch up here. They're less than a goal down. Golsack looking for a lead. He decides to play on. Keeps it close to the ground. Marks. Kick by Howe. Takes that one strongly. Dump with no time to delay with that kick. For Solo, he's got some sure hands. He doesn't often fumble the loose ball. Puts boot to ball. He marks the ball. He gets boot to the ball. He grabs it. Trelaw slams the ball to his boot. That's a piercing kick from Grundy. Nice mark there. Greenwood hand passes. Intercept by Ross. Hits the running man. Akers puts it on the boot. McCartan takes an uncontested mark. Slams it on the boot. Good mark on the run. 
picked by Adams. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Done. He's really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. He handballs it. It's intercepted. For Solo, gets the interception on the bounce. He slams that on the boot. Stevens hits it. Blair is bumped off the ball. Ross gathers the ball. Greenwood intercepted that well. Phillips cuts off the ball. He gets boot to the ball. Going for goal number three. The Magpies by six points. Stevens will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Stevens with a low spearing kick. Heads for the boundary line. Nice mark under pressure. Trims the grass with that one. Greenwood winds it up. Sends it on its way. Phillips up. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines the shot up. Going for goal number one. Chalk up a goal for the Magpies. The Magpies by two goals. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. And there's the bounce. Long it with the punch. Good tap from Gilbert. Oscar Elliott with the tap. Has it now. Grundy is streaming past and gets the footy. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. He's been outstanding all match, Dan. Great mark. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Trelaw must have amazing intuition because he can react so fast to situations, it's as though he's had premonitions. Akers taps the ball. Pendlebury picks it up. He taps it. He taps it. Minchington onto the ball, receives the hand pass. Nunes takes a contested mark. Kicks. And the mark will be paid. 35 metres out. Gilbert unloads one towards goal. Fantastic goal by Gilbert. Two goals would change the lead in favour of the Saints. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The ball is bounced. Grundy punches. Bounces favourably for Trelaw. Gains possession. Kicks it. Minchington has it. Minchington has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. H spills it. He manages to intercept the bouncing ball. He slams that on the boot. He takes the contested mark. Billings kicks it. He takes a strong mark. McCartan kicks hard along the boundary line. Gets boot to high. Takes that one strongly. Chris kicks the ball. Smith with the ball. Gets boot to leather. I guess it was worth a go. Unfortunately, place ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Booted by Broomhead. Trelawd has it. Grundy can passes the ball to the runner going past. Kicks. He gets above the crowd. This will certainly test him from this distance. Maynard has the chance to add one more to his talent. The huge kick makes it to the goals. He's bagged a couple now. The Magpies in front by two goals with that score. Maynard needs to gain a more familiar and consistent goal-kicking routine. And when he does that, he will be rewarded with more accurate kicking results. Akers tries his luck along the ground. Gilbert onto the ball. Puts the head down as he runs in. Geary laps up the misplaced footy. It's his. Deft touch from Sinclair. Clean tap by Golsack. Broomhead with the tap. Tap by McCartan. Sinclair gets the tap. He's got the footy in his hands. Sinclair launches one towards goal. Sinclair executes the goal well. The Saints trailing, but they can still easily catch up from here. St Kildick need to play on at all costs now and start getting some more running goals on the board. He's got the football now. Webster gets the ball. Long it with the tap. He gains possession. Has it now. Taken by Broomhead. A low stabbing kick. Fasolo has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Fasolo, he's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable and he requires a watchful eye at times. H by hand, he taps it, tapped. Trelaw onto the ball, he receives the ball, he gets a fist to it, handballs it into open space. Even under extreme pressure, he's got the handball out. The ball is tapped. Akers gets tackled. Ross picks up the loose ball. He grabs it. Picks it. Dunn wins the marking contest. Dunn can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Pendlebury takes a shot. The ball's up. Pendlebury with a long goal. Collingwood have the edge over the Saints in this match. 
The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. A dead straight bounce. Grundy punches. Bounces favorably for Blair. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Time to check the stats, Richo. Not much difference between the way these two teams are kicking. Both fairly even on 61 and 46. Collingwood and the Saints are very level on the possession count, which reflects the evenness of this contest. The players have had a good break. They should be ready to bring this game home. How you respond to the challenge in the second half will determine what you become after the game, whether you're a loser or a winner. The opposition forgot about him, and he takes the easy mark. The contest, no match for him. Too far out to score, sure. Nunes with a kick at goal. Suckers the ball away. Slams it on the boot. A solid mark from Bruce. Bruce takes a shot. It's in the air. Bruce sinks the long kick. Two goals will see St Kilda in the lead. Bruce has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. There's the bounce. Long it without a touch. The clearance by Grundy. Pumps the big skin. Grundy takes the mark. Grundy really wears his heart on his sleeve. He takes a strong mark. Puts boot to ball. He claims the ball. He gets boot to the ball. Bruce with the ball. He slams that on the boot. Gilbert takes a contested mark. Nice drop punt. A good mark under the circumstances. 50 metres from home. Chance to level the score. McCartan just gets it through. A second goal in the bag. That's two in a row for St Kilda. We're all tied up now. McCartan has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Grundy guides it. Guided down nicely by Robertson. McCartan guides it. Tap by Longer. Gets the loose ball. Vasolo runs past and gets the ball. Kicks. A great effort. Grundy is a great mark on the lead, but he can sometimes get worked under the ball in the contest. If he can lift his overhead capability, he will be a star. Blair goes for goal. Score for Collingwood. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Here's the bounce. Punched by Longer. Smith controls it. Deft touch from Bakers. Minchington has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. And the mark will be paid. Vasolek puts it on the boot. Strong mark. Boots it. He wins the contest. Billings got a really good footballing brain. He marks the ball. Roberton kicks the ball. Strong mark there. Goldsack boots it. The mark will be paid. He gets boot to the ball. He grabs it. Adams kicks it. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. He slams that on the boot. Savage, with good strong hands, sends it on its way. Ball over the boundary line. The umpire will throw it in. The umpire's throw is a good one. Hit by Grundy. McCartan cops it from behind. The spiralling torpedo from Fusola. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Hands like dinner plates. Ross has so much potential, he could just be anything. The huge kick makes it through the goals. All is in readiness. The ball is bounced. Long had got a fist on it. McCartan charges fiercely with a powerful bump. Maynard claims the ball. 45 metres out. Maynard drives the ball towards goal. That's a very well executed goal. Ominous signs for the Magpies. Three goals up now. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Both Rucks have a fair shot at this one. Palms it down nicely. He spears the ball. Trelaw over the top. Choose to kick it. Blair presents and takes the mark. Blair can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. He gets boot to the ball. Longer gets the upper hand. He kicks the ball. Kept his composure then. He boots it. He grabs it. Short handball from Pendlebury. Grundy boots it. 
Got his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Choose to kick it. The mark is taken by Blair. Blair feeds it wide. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Good mark by Webster. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. The St Kilda forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Sends the Sharon on its way. A great effort. Minchington sends one up towards the wing. Vasilic has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Great mark under pressure. The ball goes over the line. Grundy off for the Magpies. We'll have a throw in. The throw is accurate. Moore, he's just a real workhorse in the rough, and I reckon his teammates really appreciate his uncomplicated approach to the game. Blair getting into position for the kick, sending it on its way. Well, uh, just wanted it more then. He kicks the ball. He can't bring that mark down. Moore grabs the ball on the bounce. Akers seems scared by his shadow. What are you doing, son? McCartan with handball. Guided by Gilbert. Gets a handball away. Moore gets the tap. Trelord controls. Gets the ball free. Robertson slams it on the boot. Yoon's taking aim. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. And he's kicking on a 30-degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. Big trouble for the Saints. They need to kick a few now. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Umpire bounces the ball. Moore guides it. Webster controls it. Goes short with a hand pass. Anything stands out there, Richo, with the stats? The tackling abilities on display from both sides appear close on the scoreboard, with the Magpies on 38 and St Kilda on 32. Collingwood with 90 kicks and the Saints with 75 kicks. Not much in it. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richo.
It's almost over now. It's not whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get up. Big leap. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Choose to kick it. Nice work from Greenwood. Gets boot to high. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Pendlebury thumps the ball for goal. Pendlebury sinks it from a long way out. That's four goals. The Magpies lead by three goals. Pendlebury is one of the most astute decision makers in the game. Footy is becoming more and more a thinking game and you can't be out there purely on physical ability. He's a great asset to his club. Adams the better man there. Collingwood for bypassing their forward targets and having shots on the run with very few marks inside forward 50. He gets boot to the ball. Good mark. Greenwood kicks the ball. Blair marks it. 45 metres out. He lays it on the boot for a giant kick. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's OK to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Elliot marks it. Not a bad idea to run around here and open the face. Elliot takes a shot. The kick just clears the line for a goal. We'll be happy with goal number two. Elliot increases the lead. Umpire has the ball ready for the centre bounce. Longer is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Webster with the interception. The ball is tapped. Puts boot to ball. Weller gets it off the ground. McCartan is bumped off the ball. That's a nice strong mark. 25 metres out. Now this shouldn't be too hard for Phillips. The Magpies have one to their tally. That's three in a row for calling. The Magpies by five goals. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Grundy taps it. He's got the footy in his hands. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Good fist. Smith, feeling the pressure, gets the quick kick away. He gains possession. Trelaw puts it on the boot. A great effort. Steven has got an amazing vertical leap. He grabs it. Webster puts his boot on it. He claims the ball. McCartan covers some ground with that kick. That's a nice strong mark. He slams that on the boot. The mark will be paid. Hoskin Elliott kicks it. He takes the contested mark. Slams it on the boot. Maynard marks it. A rushed kick. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Look, the Magpies could manage to wrap up a big number of marks. It's easy to see why they're leading this match. Blair with the shot. He could not have kicked that any better. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Long it with the mighty fist. Gilbert seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. A good hit out there. Webster picks up the loose ball. And we have a ball up. Long it punches it. A rushed kick. Dishes it off by hand. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Blair with a chance if he keeps a cool head. Kicks. Great mark. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Greenwood slams it on the boot. Collingwood with dominating in the air and the scoreboard reflects it. Concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. He slams that on the boot. Pendlebury with a strong mark. He kicks the ball. That's a nice strong mark. Greenwood kicks the ball. That's a nice strong mark. Blair kicks it. Willett drops it. Like working in a telephone box. Look at him go. Phillips bumps. All of a sudden the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Aish. Stevens picks it up. Maynard laps up the misplaced footy. It's his. Clean tap by Stevens. Akers guides it. The ball is on the ground and it's picked up by Pendlebury. No good. Collingwood lead the Saints 92 to 55. It's time to roll the dice out there and see how the game might open up. Yes, the Saints might get hurt on the rebound, but I think more scoring opportunities will present themselves. Webster kicks the ball. Akers really forced to earn that mark. He gets boot to the ball. He marks the ball. He slams that on the boot. Longer marks the ball. Low spearing kick. Smith has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. His mistake costs him a possession. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Nicely intercepted by Fasola. Clean tap by McCartan. The ball is socket. He's got the football now. Was that a throw? I think it was. Kicks beyond the wing. 
Oscar Elliott grabs that one. Oscar Elliott kicks out along the boundary line. Trelaw with the mark. Maynard has it. Maynard, he's quite clean, picking up the ball on the half volley. It's a mark. He steadies now in front of goal. Dugowie has a kick. Dugowie has slotted it through for a six-pointer. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Long it decisively. Gilbert with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Gains possession. McCartan puts the ball in the hands of fate. Akins taking a chance at goal. Geary places it badly. It won't reach Sinclair. They've got nothing to lose here apart from this match. Golsack looking for a lead. Nunes has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell me. Nunes whacks one on the boot for goal. The Saints not enjoying this. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Dishes it off to the running player. Vasola gets the tap. McCartan decisively. A short handball. He gets a kick out of the pack. Pendlebrick from behind. He hand-passes the ball. Listen, here's the thing. This game was over before it began, and I don't think there's anything further I can add that will shed light on this outcome. Very one-sided. Richo, what did you make of the final result? Grass grows, birds fly, waves pound the sand, and the magpies beats teams up. The Magpies bleeds and killed at 98 to 62 at the final siren. Well, that's all we have time for. We only part to meet again, maybe next weekend.